the new monogram, which consists of Charles's first name and the letter R for X, will be used on everything from official correspondence to the well-known red mailboxes. King Charles III now has a new crest. As Charles begins his third week in office as monarch, Buckingham Palace has released the king's new royal cipher. The monogram features a crown over his first letter C, entwined with the Latin word Rex, which refers to the king, and has been in use since the 12th century. The number three is also shown inside the R. It will soon take the place of Queen Elizabeth's airy emblem, wherever royal symbols are shown. However, the postmarks on all correspondents leaving Buckingham Royal will start to change, according to palace officials. The postmarks on all mail leaving Buckingham Royal will start on Tuesday, according to palace officials, albeit some of these adjustments will be gradual. The cipher will also be used by UK government agencies on the mail, as well as on official state documents, and eventually on the well-known red mailboxes found throughout the country. Charles, 73, together with other members of the royal family and the royal household, officially closed the period of royal mourning for Queen Elizabeth on Monday. Charles is the owner of the new cipher. The College of Arms, the palace's heraldry experts, produced many designs, and he selected 1.0n official documents, as well as the note placed on top of Queen Elizabeth's coffin during her burial rites. The king has already adopted a new signature that comes with his position as sovereign, signing his name as Charles R. Queen Elizabeth used the signature, Elizabeth R. On official documents throughout her illustrious reign. The R stands for Regina, or Queen in Latin, when it is used by Queen's. The King, who is presently residing in Scotland, also has a somewhat modified version for use in Scotland, that cipher is decorated with an image of the Scottish crown. The time that King Charles and Queen Camilla spent in the Scottish Highlands came after a period of very hectic public events and ceremonies that King Charles had to participate in while still grieving over the loss of his mother on September 8 age 96, she passed away peacefully at Balmoral Castle. As part of the ongoing visit to Scotland, King Charles and Queen Camilla went to Graffy Kirk near Balmoral on Sunday for church services. The King's office published a picture of him last week, sitting at a mahogany desk in a room from the 18th century of Buckingham Palace, going over the papers that are sent to him every day in the red boxes, from the ambassadors. A black and white image of Charles's late parents, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, is displayed behind him. The last holiday season before he passed away in February 1952, the couple gave it to her father King George Vi for Christmas in 1951. Charles's character has been on display as he adjusts to his new role as monarch, but he has mainly survived it with the support of the British people, a biographer told People. According to Catherine Mayer, whose book Charles, the heart of a king has recently been updated, it's been interesting because he's been visibly uplifted and inspired by the popular support for him. Who created the cipher? The College of Arms had presented a number of choices, and the king ultimately decided on this one. Since its establishment in 1484, the College of Arms has created and updated official registries of coats of arms and pedigrees. The college's heralds are subordinate to the crown and are members of the royal household. Where will it be seen? On official documents, government buildings, and some post boxes, you'll see the monogram of King Charles. The royal household will also use it for franking mail, but individual organizations will still have the last say on whether to switch from using ciphers for the queen to the king. The process will be gradual, and in some cases, you can still see the ciphers of former kings and queens on public structures and street decor, particularly post boxes. The late queen's cipher was replaced, and a representative for the cabinet office said, where modifications may be easily made, such as in digital branding, they can be implemented promptly. Physical things, such as stationery or signage, will be gradually changed over time as required. The passing of the Queen ushered in a new Carolian era, necessitating the alteration of many commonplace goods including stamps, coins, and currency. It might never be finished and will probably take many years, if not decades.